Trying to learn the second spell of the dark arts. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. <laughs> Gotta wait till it's daytime. Oh, and I'm ready. Hey, buddy. It's time. It's time. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them. So I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. Let's explore. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. He would. That's why I didn't tell him. Because I want a spell. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. Oh. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Yes. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Time to learn, Imperium. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Alright. I bet it's gonna be easy. Oh, it's easy. Let's do it. Yes! The second dark. Imperial. Dead end. Lovely. Revelling oh, from nothing. Hold Wait. on. Don't give up yet. The pulsar. Wait. The relic note. Sebastian. The relic. Uh -uh. Look. It's the relic. Wow. It's could such it be? It could be. The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for oh the relic. Oh, God. Well, I guess we do need the relic. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. Alright. I must keep this relic secret. Especially for my uncle. Oh shit! It's ominous. Oh. Is that ominous? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Ominous! The sounds we kept hearing. It was you! You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Ah, shit. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to yeah. help Yeah, what do we do? I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking Are we going to the Imperium? No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Oh, shit. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean... I'm sorry, Ominous, but maybe in another life I'd help you, but, um... I gotta, Sebastian's I gotta help this boy right. out. 
We need that relic. I'm sorry. My mind is made up. Are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over this? I might be. How could I choose to stand by and watch him do this? What uh, if the choice wasn't yeah. yours? <laughs> you wouldn't be to blame for what happens. What in the world are you suggesting? Imperium? God. That's what I am That's what I'm saying. I would take all responsibility. This could save your friendship. I know how to cast it. Sebastian taught me. But I won't do it unless you agree. This is insanity. I can't believe you would ask this of I'm me. I'm sorry. Sebastian is never going to give up trying to cure Anne. If you try and stop him now, he'll never forgive you. I'm... I... Fine. This is unfathomable. But I suppose if you want that responsibility, it may just save what is left of... of my friendship with Sebastian. Remember, this is what I was telling you about the Dark Arts. They come with a cost. I, I'm willing to pay it. You may well regret making this choice. Do what you have to do. Cast. Ah, oh, God, are you Before bad now? Imperial. Oh, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> Step aside, Ominous. Stay in place until we're out of sight. I will. Oh, my God. Oh, I feel bad. We fucking. Sebastian. Come on! What did I'm... you do? Imperia, it was the only way to get out of here without a fight. Ominous, I'm sorry. Sebastian, we have to go. You, do the wrong thing. you need the relic. I know. But not like this. Ominous and I agreed. Surely there's a difference between casting Imperia on someone without their knowledge and casting it with permission. I understand what you're saying. I do, but I've taken full responsibility. Listen, Sebastian. You have my <laughs> we made it this far to do this shit. I, I'll, I'll take responsibility, okay? You go fucking do we it to your each other. Yeah, I didn't want to do it to you. Alright, let's fucking go. Jeez, dude. We. There's smoke. Oh, shit. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne oh, not no. know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. Oh no. The town's on her. fire. Oh shit. Oh, we have to fight. Oh god. Ah uh, no. Is that smoke? Oh yeah. no. This isn't good. What is it? Felt smoke. Over there, by the hamlets. Oh, Let's hurry. <laughs> yep, loyalists. Oh, that was meant for me. Oh, God. 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 Oh, Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Sebastian! Damn! Yeah. Boy, what have you done? Saved my sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. Dear. Damn. What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You, you did you the did right thing. You did what you had to do. You did if what I you have had to, to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home, from my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. 
Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. He did say this. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. My uncle. Kind of. I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of yeah, either Professor of us using Black it, he'll go straight to Professor magic. Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne, to reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. Very well. We know what you find. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. Yeah. I'll I send you. you an owl when I have news. I got you. Bro. The keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. I want to yeah. hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? The Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. Uh... How did I just drink? Professor B! Oh god! My Professor Black? Oh shit. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Ah. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. No! As we I discussed, be my own you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. Of course! Hey! This is my school, and anything I say go. Hey, you. Anyone? Hey, you. What were you rocking? Professor, a moment of your time, please. Oh, God. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I. Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, oh and I... Uh, busy, well, too I, busy. I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I will, I will decide what's worth... I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <clears throat> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and it dagger. So Simply have a student deliver it. A student. 
Very well, sir, if you insist. I do, and thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Ah, that is awkward as fuck. To determine. No, Gareth. I don't want to talk to you, Gareth. You're fucking annoying. Gareth. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck you want? You're getting detention. It's not about anything I've been doing. Hey, you! I heard you're talking shit about Miss people. Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's I remember you. I Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Non-verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. Well, they're as good as invisible to me, sir. Rotten little extortionist holding my diary hostage. What was that, Broom? Uh, nothing, Excuse sir. Excuse me? <laughs> Speaking of invisible, yo, is she talking shit by my bag. Hey, are you, you know, you're getting detention. Get out of here, students. I hereby decree that the great hall be forthwith decorated in the elegant banners of what Ravencrawl. <laughs> I shall be taking no questions at this time or ever. Yeah. What the fuck? Um, you dare question How me? Dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of I'm course, sorry. Uh, uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Wait, I don't even know. Of what course. I, What's uh, the motto? Master does remember it. Uh. Ah, oh fuck! <laughs> oh shit! Uh, you're putting me on the spot here. <laughs> pure blood. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, master. Uh, Scrope thinks oh, master is indeed testing Scrope. <laughs> it is always pure, <laughs> obviously, and of course, as master knows, in French. Ah. Yes, of course. What the uh, fuck? I order you to pronounce it. What kind of password oh. is this? But Master knows that Scrope's French is most pure. Toujours pure. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pure. Ha! Tuz Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's this way. This is the most arc. Did I just belch? <laughs> 